Hello, my friends. My name is Dadcraft73, and welcome back to another episode of our 1.16.5 Mod of Minecraft Let's Play series. Oh, man. You know we're all up in that bee business. Listen, I've been breeding some bees, but I have some news to report to you. Uh, I know that these big hives, these guys right here, these tier 4 beehives, hello, you're very loud, bees, can hold 16 bees. And even though it's a little bit of a hassle to breed all these bees, uh, it's not that big of a deal. But, okay, thank you for going in there. You're super loud. But here's the deal. I don't think you need 16. Let me tell you why. I had to shut this thing down. Look. <laughs> and that was after me taking a whole bunch of these combs and turning them into honeycomb blocks. This thing was clear full, and I had stuff laying all over the place just in not a very long amount of time. I think 16 is too many. I think what you we're going to do is maybe just stop at tier 3 hives, at least for now, and run like 6 bees, something like that. Maybe 8 max i think that's plenty so for instance these dust bees i've got one two three four in bee jars and then there's another four sitting right here that's probably all we'll ever need and i don't even know honestly dust bee how many of these things we need i mean how many dust bees do we do we do we really need even these bees <laughs> i don't even know i was just sitting here thinking about it i don't know hmm I don't know if we need them or not. Anyway, today, that being said, today we've got to take care of some sort of automation task, and that's what we're going to work on. And then I think we're going to try to get, let's see, let's take a look here. Iron, I really like, like an iron bee. What's the story there? So we could take a sieve bee, breed it with a uh, sand bee, and we get an iron bee. Or at least maybe a 70% chance to get one. And we have a couple sieve B. You know what? Actually, let's let's try it right now. Why not? Let's take this. Hello? You belong in this jar. All right. And then we have to run down here. Let's get these like all back like this. All right. We have to run down here away from our little fence post. Out of, uh, really out of lead range. That's what we're doing. It's, so then the leaves will break and we can pick them up. If you don't, <laughs> if you put them too close, they'll like spring back over there. All right, let's put these in here. So we have eight of these now. Let's get these two guys here. And, oh, I need a sand bee. All right. Shouldn't be a big deal to, to, uh, get one. Hmm. Okay. All right, I'm not 100% sure how we're going to get one. And they'll just put in the hive. Also, the <laughs> it's too many. 16 is way too many. We actually need to pull some of those out there to begin with, I think. All right, we need a little bit of glass and then something to stand on, I guess. Let's grab um, some cobble. There we go. And let's get ourselves back up here. And then we just need to wait for them to come out of the hives. And we should then... Okay, they all just came out. Okay, so we're going to take this. One, two... What, hello? One? Hello? One, two, three. Okay, they're kind of packed in there. Okay. I don't know how many that leaves. That's probably good. Okay, let's do it like that. All right, let's see. How many's in the hive? Seven bees? That's plenty. <laughs> I just don't think we need any more than that. Six or seven is going to be fine. We need to do the same thing with the gravel bees. I'll do that later. All right, so now we do have, though, some bees. Okay, let's get this first of all. Let's get our sieve bee spawned. Hello, come here. Okay, come over here, guy. And then you can be spawned. Oh, hello. All right, and you can go there. Okay, sand bee can spawn. All right. Oh, hello. And then that guy can spawn there. Okay. Oh. So now we need a piece of sand. Let's go grab some real quick. Do you like how I'm making you guys come along <laughs> for the ride? And then a couple flowers, which maybe we have here. Yes. Okay. And we've got a lead. All right. So let's do one pair at a time. Let's do this guy. And this guy. Okay. And then get ready. We'll lasso whatever comes. Oh, hello. How are you? Pris oh, Prismarine B. Okay. Hello, Prismarine B. All right, I'll take you. And then we can do another one. And the other Sam B. Let's see what we get out of this 
meeting together. <gasps> There's an iron bee. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we just have to do this over and over again until we get the ones that we want. I don't think we really need a prismarine bee, but we've got one now. And we've got an iron bee. And then once we have two iron bees, we can go through the process. Okay. So I'm going to work on that in between doing some other work around the base. I've got to wait for these bees to be ready to be bred again and all of those different things. And plus the other ones to grow up. And that's just kind of the way it has to be. But what I want to do is I want to extend... Hmm. I think what I want to do is go down a tier. Let's see. Do I have um, some slabs laying around here somewhere? <laughs> no, but we can make some pretty easily. One, two, three. Okay. So let's go and grab some slabs. Like so. All right. And then I should be able to go like over here. We'll shift. We make it so our crosshairs are like that. And we can put that down there. Okay, see how that's down there? And then we can put another one there. All right, so now I'm going to go down a step, and then I'm going to put stairs along here, right? So there's going to be this upper level and this lower level to our base, and it's going to essentially mimic what we've got here, okay? We're going to go out three or four blocks, however many that is. It's like four blocks, and we're going to make identical, like, matching platforms underneath, but they're all going to be cobblestone. Right, and then that's going to be sort of our work area, at least for now. I'm afraid that our roof isn't going to be tall enough, but it should be okay. It's like it'll be five or six blocks. I think that'll be okay. So I'm going to work on that while I'm also keeping an eye on my bees, doing all the breeding that I need to do. Again, we're just going to try to get a couple of each kind because I think that's going to be enough. We can always add more. We can always pull them out of the hive, right? If we build a big enough hive and we're like, oh, we need more co uh, coal or whatever, we'll pull them out. And breed more. Yeah? Okay. Let me get to work. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends. We are back. Okay. We've been taking care of some business, man. You know, we've been breeding up some bees. I got all kinds of bees. I've got, uh, let's see. I've got a blaze bee, just one. I've got a fluorite bee. I thought that was a skeleton bee, but it's a fluorite bee. Evidently, when you breed dust and sieve bees, there's a chance to get all kinds of crazy stuff. So we're working on that, taking care of business. But I also have one, two, three, four, five. We need one. I thought there was another one. Okay, so we're going to need to get one more iron bee, and then we're going to have six. So I made a whole bunch of hives. I don't know why after I place it down, it, I guess it has an MBT tag because it's been placed or something like that. But in any case, um, I'm setting up some more hives. It looks like I'm going to have to have four or be able to have four across the back like this, which is going to work out just like I wanted to. I think I'm happy there. So I think what we need to do is go down below in the lower level and start thinking about how we're going to get this place set up. I also, let me eat a little something. I'm having trouble running around here. I also built myself a blast furnace. I should have built it a while ago because I was trying to process a little bit of iron and uh, this is just so much faster to do it this way. Uh, it's really simple and I could probably make a second one if I wanted to and maybe, uh, Maybe I will. Let's go ahead and make two of these bad boys. Let's grab all this stuff. We can do it black back here. Blast furnace. We should be able to go like that. Just because anytime I need any of these materials, it'll go a little bit faster if I do it like that. Yep. Okay. And we'll load that in there. Perfect. All right. So now you can see that I've got, oh, let's not fall off there. I'm going to put some guardrails on or something. Um, I'm thinking about actually just enclosing this whole thing in around this whole deal and then... Um, coming back and and put stairs just so we can sort of walk off wherever we want to. I've got it all lit up so no mobs can spawn. I've got the light overlay turned on. If you don't use that, you're probably asking for trouble. Um, I did kill a zombie that spawned, so I actually have a piece of rotten flesh, which is something that I need because I think I can use it to make some kind of bee. Yeah, a zombie bee spawn egg. And there's stuff that comes from that. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, we don't need to look at it right now. We've got lots of work to do. Okay, so now that I've got a little bit of setup, I wanted to also tell you that I've taken a bunch of bees out of this hive as well. Now there's only seven gravel bees in there. There's seven of those. That's good. And these hives, these tier twos, I think we're good. I think we just need tier twos. I don't think we need anything more than that. I mean, we could probably go to tier three, but you know what? These are going to be fine. Six bees, eight honeycombs, essentially working 24 hours a day on the old server. We're going to be raking it in. Don't you worry. Okay. So let's get a little bit of power fired up here. Let me find. Do I have a hopper by chance? No. Okay. Well, let's um, let's grab some stuff and we'll start doing a little bit of work. Let's grab a stack of these. 
and let's make a whole bunch of chests just because we're going to need them. We're going to need a hop, couple of hoppers anyway. Let's make a bunch of those, and let's make ourselves, for now, uh, two hoppers. Okay, two hoppers. And then I want to get a little bit of gold. How are we doing gold-wise? One. Okay, let's actually go like one, two, get some of that out of there. And we'll go like so and so, and we'll do that, and we'll get that, and we'll start this in the blast furnace. Bang. Okay. So we can do that. Let's grab how many of these. Do we have? We have tons of diamonds. Let's get two of these. Let's get that guy out of there. We'll get the first one of these. And then maybe we'll get a little bit more of that. Okay. And then we'll convert this into planks. And now let's make some crates. Why not? We, we'll just make these uh, iron crates like this. Oh, I don't need that many. <laughs> Let's make two. And then we'll make these. Oh, why is it... Why was it going to allow me to make like a million of those things? And then it's not now. Okay. Let's get a little bit more gold out of here. Let's make... We should be able to make two of these gold ones. And then two diamond ones. We might as well make the big, big daddy ones. Oh, we need one more diamond. Okay, and then we'll make one more of these, like so, okay? And then we'll dump all the extra cool stuff away in there. Okay, all right, so we have these. We have a hop, a couple hoppers. I don't know how we have three, but we'll take it. And then we're going to go over here. Okay, so what I need to do is figure out how these new hives is going to be super easy. So we can just bust a hole here, okay? Actually, what we need to do is let's put this in here temporarily, okay? And then we'll do the same thing over here. And then we can go like so and so. Point this hopper straight down, okay? Then we could go back underneath here. And we could do the same thing over here, I guess. Uh, we'll just pre-mark these in case we want to use them down the road and convert everything to the same format. We probably will. But this is how we're going to do it from here on out. We're going to have all of our processing of these hives underneath. I think that makes the most sense. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what the turnaround time is, and I'm afraid we have to have a buffer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, let's see, let's go over here and use these guys. We'll use this one. It's not, it's not lined up exactly how I want it to. Let's put this here. Okay, like that. So this is our crate. This is where all of our stuff is going to go, right? And then we're going to have a hopper coming out of there. But we have to make a couple more pieces parts. Let's get ourselves a centrifuge. Centrifuge, like so. All right, it's pretty simple. We need to make some smooth stone. Do we have a couple pieces we do? Okay, so let's see what we need. We need a bucket. Do we have enough iron to make a bucket? We put all of our iron away. Let's get it all back out. Oh, no. Okay, do we get it all out? Yep, okay. So let's see what we've got here, centrifuge-wise. We need one of these. We're going to need a piece of redstone. And we're going to need some cobblestone. By the way, changing this to a drawer, storage drawer, was awesome. We have now 65,000 dirt. We've got enough dirt to last us, essentially, forever now. All right, we'll go like that. We should be able to make the centrifuge. Okay, perfect. All right, and then... So then we're going to put... Get a little dirt here. Let's go under. Okay. So the centrifuge then is going to go right here. Okay. And then let's grab another piece of dirt so we can go up one more. And then we'll hopper all of this into the centrifuge. So the combs, combs are going to get collected. They're going to go into the centrifuge just like that. Okay, and we might as well then, uh, we're going to need one more hopper. Can we make another one? Yep, we have just enough. Put a thing right there. Okay, perfect. And then we will put... So what is this? This is going to be iron. So let me just take a look here. Iron... Iron comb. What does an iron comb, uh, when it's processed, actually give us? Okay, so it gives us 
So I don't think, I think these are optional, I believe. I don't know if we need to actually feed those in there, but we get two items, I think. So I think what we can actually do is make a drawer. Drawer. I mean, I guess maybe we could get, uh, get this stuff out of it too. I really don't need it though. We need a two by two drawer like this. So we go like so and like this, and then we go like that and like, oh, I don't really want jungle drawers though. Yeah, those are no good. We don't want that. Those are not attractive. <laughs> Let's get some of these regular guys. Oak. Not a fan of the jungle wood uh, texture. It just hasn't ever been something I've been too excited about. All right, let's go here like that. We'll make these, okay? So make these doors like so. Okay. And then we'll go like here. We'll put this guy like so. And we should be able to go like that, okay? So now, this is going to be our setup. So all of the stuff that comes through this centrifuge as it gets made, right, will filter in here. It'll have power going to it, and it should centrifuge out all the combs. We have, like, a buffer to store those things. So even though it'll always be full, it shouldn't be a problem. And then they'll all go in here, right? We're going to repeat this setup for our other one as well. Is this the uh, sand one? Yeah, I'm gonna move this over. So we need to do the same thing over here. I also wanna go up here and find out what's going on with this other thing. I thought I had it all lined up the same. I guess it's possible that it's not. Oh, okay. It's not lined up, right? Okay, let's cover that up. This is not gonna go out of there. It's going to go, um, it's going to go like, like that. Okay. So the hive is going to sit on top of that right now. We're lined up the way we need to be. Okay. So I'm going to make another centrifuge. I'm going to get this whole thing set up. So now you understand how we're going to automate our processing. I just need to move this whole thing over, which I'll do in just a second. It needs to be over here. And then, because my goal is to have one centrifuge run in for each hive. And I don't know if it's going to be able to keep up or not, but let's hope so. And hopefully we don't need to have bottles in here. I don't think we do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't need to have bottles. I hope not. I mean, I don't know. Like, this thing acts funny over here. This centrifuge. Like, if I take the bottles out, will it even process these combs? It should, right? No, it does not <laughs> process. So what am I supposed to do with all these bottles? So now it does. Hmm. Okay, so that's not ideal. Is there a way to get my bottles back? Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. But I guess we're just going to have to smelt up a ton of glass. Anyway, let me get all this set up. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so we've got a couple things fired up here. I've got a ton of furnaces burning some sand, making some glass. We're going to need that for bottles. And I've decided to switch up a little bit how we're going to handle our cone, our collection, because I think we're going to have to feed bottles into this system to be able to get this centrifuge to work. So that means we're going to have to have a third spot for storage, and that's going to be for honey bottles. The good thing about it is we can recycle those uh, glass uh, bottles pretty easily. So we can just make like a fixed amount and just recycle them. I think we might have to do it manually for a little while until we can figure out a solution on how to do it a different way. But I was just uh, cooking up some stone and we're going to grab, uh, do I have, I feel like I have a ton of, they're actually in my inventory and we just need a couple pieces of quartz. One, two. Okay. All right, let's make a drawer controller. That's what we need to make. We would need to make two of these guys. We have to make a couple of these. Can we make like uh, two of those? What am I looking for? All right, let's get uh, one, two more of those. And let's go here, here, here. Make two of those. And now can we make a drawer controller? We just need some we need a diamond. Two of those. And then let's use these, uh, these four by four drawers that I've still got kicking around here, or these two by twos. We we'll use those. Let's not waste any of our other stuff. Okay, and then we should be able to make a pair of drawer controllers like so. Okay, perfect. 
And now we can take this over here and set it just like this. Bang. Right, so the hopper's gonna drop into the drawer controller, which will feed it into the appropriate things. We're gonna put this guy right here. Do I have a hopper? I do. We can come around here and do that. Okay, perfect. So now we've got essentially our base set up. So now we've gotta get some power, and I think we're gonna do some thermo generators, I guess. That's what um, some folks were telling me that that's uh, a half decent way to get around it. And if we do the basic ones, I think we might be able to get uh, 70 FE per tick. I'm just not exactly sure how these work. Uh, we'll figure it out together, I guess. All right, let's go make a couple pieces parts and see. Let's look in our fancy drawer or thing over here. Do we have some dielectric paste? We've got some of these and some of those. Okay, uh, yeah. We've got some more dielectric paste. Let's just take it all out. All right, so let's take a look here and see how we make one of these generators. We've got to do this. So we do need some iron. Man, we are short on iron. Uh, we might be able to squeak by. <laughs> we'll see. All right, we got to make two of these. All right, let's do that. And then, no, then we need to make some of these. So we need some blaze powder, basic capacitor. Do we have any basic capacitors left over? Maybe kick it around here. We've got that one. We can make some more. Do we have some blaze powder? We do. Okay, get a bunch of that out. All right, now, let's see if we can't keep going down this road. We need to make a bunch of these. So I don't think we can make these. Oh, we don't have the redstone. We also need more basic capacitors anyway. So we need these. That's a redstone block and some iron. Okay, so we're really low on iron. I should have had a bunch smelted up. We're getting, like, really low. But that's okay because we're about to be able to start producing as much iron as we want to which will be kind of cool. Let's go. Oh, dang it. Why did that come with me? Get out of here, torch. Let me pick that up. There we go. All right, so we can go like so and just dump the rest of that in there, and then we can run this through the blast furnace and get our iron. Okay, let me grind out a little bit of iron. So here's how we're, we're going to just make these, right? This is pretty simple. I mean, we can make one together just so we can see how to do it. Let's get some of those. All right, we can make those. All right, so we can get all the pieces parts, and then I'm going to make two thermo generators, and we're going to upgrade them, which is just going to take a bunch more iron, and yeah, we got to make some more basic capacitors. We get like a bunch from this, though. Yeah, all right, so let me make, let's get these two thermo generators made, and then I'll bring you back on the other side. Oh, you know what? While we're waiting for just a second, I also want to make some power cables. Um, energy, 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 maybe. Okay, we got to make some of these right here. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to make those. I want to make the ones from power, these. So it's a basic capacitor, tiny, an iron nugget. Okay. I mean, I think we could probably do this pretty easily. Let's see what we can do together. Do I have enough iron to make some of this stuff? Okay. All right, let's make an iron, or uh, one of these. One of those. All right. And then I'm going to make capacitor. Capacitor. One of uh, these. Basic. Okay. We're going to make that. And then power. No. Uh, energy. Cables. I want to make these. We should make these, I think. So we just got to do that with that guy. And then we have to break one of these down like so. And we don't have any free spots in our inventory. But we get rid of um, these beehives in this grass. Okay. And we could get rid of those for a second in that. Okay, good. All right. So now, if we go back here, we should now be able to make these guys. Okay, so we can make a bunch of energy, and they transfer 100 Fe per tick, so that's perfect, actually. All right, so now can we make this thermo generator now that we've took a little bit of a, a break and are doing this? Okay, so we have three, two of those. I want to know, let's see, let's just make one upgraded version, and we'll see if then, okay, we'll see. We need to make another one of these. This is a piece of redstone. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go here, and then we'll make this. Three of those now. And can we just make this guy? No, we need to take one of these capacitors, 
break it into the smaller levels and go like that. Okay, so there we go. There's the first level thermal generator. And if we want to upgrade it, we should at least have to make a couple more of those things. So let's get one, two, three, four more of that. And let's get a bunch of blaze powder. I don't know if that's good enough. We're going to need one more probably. And maybe even one, two, three. Okay. All right, so we need to make two of these. Okay, we're going to have to make another one of these crazy things. Okay. And then... For those into the baby ones. Get... Okay. Now, now, can we do the thing? <laughs> Let's do that. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, so I don't know exactly how these work. I mean, thermo means heat, right? So I would assume they run off some sort of heat differential. Let's uh, put one, two, three. Let's go back here a ways, like maybe like right there. I'm just using that as for a dummy block at the moment. We'll put that there, okay? Okay, so... Thermo generator. Is there like a like a book manual okay all right let's um let's make one of these let me make this power manual i'll be back with you okay i mean i think it's really simple i think we just need to take some of this stuff right here let's get like a stack of that stuff right i think we can take this and it makes that right and then we can take this and put it in here and i think it's going to make a piece of uranite like this okay and evidently, you just set this generator on top of a block of this crazy stuff, and away you go. And we just need nine of those to make a block, I believe. Uraninite. Okay. So then we can go like this. And we can get a block of this stuff. Okay. Perfect. Then I think we could just come rolling over here, simple as this, and put that guy down there. And... He needs water, maybe. All right, let's take a look here at our book real quick. Okay. Uh, generators. Okay. Thermo generator. Requires a coolant fluid like water to run. Okay. Okay. All right. I think we can handle that. So if we go over here, we built this sink a couple episodes ago. Let's snatch that guy up. All right. Now we just need some fluid pipes of some sort. What is this? Uh, cyclic? Does power by chance? At power. Does it have any fluid transfer? That's all energy. Which kind of makes sense. Player transmitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Energizing rod. Ender gate. Ender cell. Okay. I don't really see anything that's got fluid. Okay. So if we're going to do fluid pipes of some sort cable we may have to do these guys okay so do we have some of those from our past experience we do okay oh man here we go <laughs> let's see let's please not get all excited and jump off into the abyss okay so that means if i go like back here let's use our same stair we use our stair this time for like a step stool and hmm, put like one of these right there and then i put our sink Nope. Okay. Let's bring this with us. <laughs> Our stool. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Put our sink up here like this. All right. Let me go like that. And we get rid of this. Then we take one of our fluid cables. Go like that. And then what's happening here? Nothing yet. Okay. So I think we just have to click on that thing with the wrench, which is right here. Okay. Let's get a wrench. Oh, man, we're taking care of business. <laughs> I don't know if we're being successful or not, but we're certainly trying. Can we go like that? Okay. Now, are you filling up with fluid? You are. Hmm. Okay. So maybe that doesn't give power. Does it give heat? Okay. Well, we can certainly use lava instead. All right, let's get this. Take this and dump it out. 
If you guys know if I can use that stuff, let me know. There's a bucket of lava that we can carry with us. Now, how do we want to enclose this thing? Probably in a little bit of glass. We do. Let's enclose our lava in glass. I mean, it's not like a differential, right? The thermo generator is an FE generator that generates energy when placed on top of a high temp block fluid like lava requires a coolant fluid like water to run. Okay. Okay. So this is not running though, maybe because this is not giving us any power. Okay. All right. I thought we were, oh, that's gone now. Oh, it's not. Okay. All right, I thought this was going to have a whole bunch of heat, but maybe it does not. All right. So then if we do this instead. Okay, let's try not to burn ourselves up. Okay. Okay, now it's producing power. Okay. I mean, I was hoping, I mean, it's doing 70 FE per tick. That's doing okay. It's a little dangerous to have that sitting there, but I think it'll work. All right, so now, right, we can take these energy cables that we have. We can put them down like so. Let's go, are we even? Yep, and then we can go like that and like that. Okay, and then both of these are filling up with thing. Oh yeah, okay. All right, so now the big question will be, do we have any combs? No, okay. Now, okay, <laughs> already, we're fired up now. I gotta get my inventory sort of under control. We gotta eat something again. All right, let me get my in inventory out of control or taken care of, and then we're gonna get our iron bees over there, and hopefully we'll be able to have some iron combs. And then we gotta end this episode because I have a crazy amount of work to do. I got to breed all the bees. We got some blaze bees. We can't. Oh, you know what we need? Oh, we have plenty of iron. Um, I do need to make make one modification to our hive setup here, which is going to be this one. That is not going to be that. This has to be an iron block because iron bees want an iron block to be able to do their deal. I'm afraid we're going to have to go to the nether. I'd really like some of those blaze rod bees fired up. This has to be their flower. So how do we know that? I'll show you real quick. That goes there, okay? So if we go here and look at Iron B, and then we do uses on him, he's got a B flower, right? And he takes a block of iron to be able to pollinate. Quote. Okay, let me get my inventory squared away. I'm gonna gather up all these bees. They should all be grow grown up. There's six of them. We're gonna come back. We're gonna put them in the hive. We're gonna set up the rest of the stuff. And hopefully we're gonna be start processing our first little bit of iron from a resource bee. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so we're ready to move the bees. Let's just get up here on top of this thing. It's just a morning. It was pouring down rain. I was going to come back to you guys earlier, but I was waiting for the rain to actually stop. Do we have a little bit of glass? We do. All right, let's start putting our bees in here. Uh, we'll go like that. Okay. Okay, there's four, and then we just need to go like this and like that, and then we should be able to cover that up. Okay, so there's our bees. There's our iron bees. That's our first, like, official, like, real resource bee, which is kind of cool. Is in the hive? Yeah, okay. And tier two hive, right, can hold six uh, hive. Let's make sure. Uh, hold six bees. Yep, that's all we care about for now. All right. Oh, they're all in there. Okay. Now we just need to get the rest of this set up real quick. So this should be pretty simple. There's already a scraper in the dispenser. So we're just going to put this here like this. And we're going to run this way down. Like that. A little bit more than that, maybe. Okay. Let me see. What does it say? Hold shift. This needs to go just a little bit. Like that. Okay, that should be good enough, right? So we've got hunting level two. I'm so excited. Let me tell you, I, I've talked to some of my patrons who have been playing on the modded um, server, and one of my patrons named Milkman was like, hey, if we run, a, have, build a tank, we don't have to have bottles in our centrifuge. So I'm trying this setup. I don't know if it's going to work for or not, but I've built a fluid storage tank. It's actually kind of easy. Fluid 
storage tank. It's um holds sixty four buckets of fluid, and I had to make a cask first. It's a barrel, uh, four pieces of leather, which I got from um, trimming down the llama population, and some string gives us a cask, and then we take the cask and we surround it with, with a little bit of iron and glass, and we can make a fluid storage tank. So I use some of my fluid cable. Hopefully that's going to work like a dream. Everything seems to be working just how we want it to. Uh, I just want this thing. Oh, we got our first iron combs. Okay. Yeah, it's processing them. Oh, let's see what we end up getting. I'm so excited. And everything should go in. Ah, oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, that worked like a dream. All right, this is still empty. Let's see if we can get a little bit of that out of there. Oh, man, our little bees are taking care of business. And as long as everything can can stick up, uh, keep going. You know what I really, really need to test? Let's do this real quick. I don't really know what I'm going to test in that. But we can probably run some. I need to get, oh, hello, crazy chickens. Why are you standing right there? That's not safe for you. How'd you even get there? Oh, ridiculous chickens. All right, let's get, let's just do this for a test real quick. Just I want to see if our centrifuge or our thermo generator can handle two of these at the same time. Okay, let's just put those in there. And then we're going to get the pieces, parts in there. So this is working like a dream. Look, seven iron ingots. Look, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's amazing. Do we have any um that stuff in there yet? It doesn't look like it. We haven't gotten any of any honey yet. Okay, so that's working. All right, this thing shouldn't even be struggling. I mean, it's really not... Pro oh, it is processing them at the same time. Okay. Okay, good. All right, man. There we go. So now, not only do we have iron bees, which is pretty awesome, we have a way to automatically process the outputs of these bees. That means over the next couple days, what I need to be doing is going crazy building all these pieces parts. I do need a little bit more iron, but now we can set up essentially processing units to process all of this stuff for us, and we can just kind of sit back and take it easy. I got to make so many more bees. Oh, my goodness. I have so much work. I need to get some help around here. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my Sky Bees episode where, man, we're processing stuff like a boss. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.